Okay, here's the uh, Emotep radiant oscillator being run by the John Bedini self-oscillating recharging circuit. It's a transistor with resistors that he developed uh, quite a few years ago. And uh, I did a couple modifications to it. I put in a, a rheostat up here where the on-off switch normally would have gone. And uh, it's a 25 ohm rheostat like I've been using. And then I added a 2K potentiometer, or 5K potentiometer, instead of the 2K resistor right there. And uh, that allowed me to vary the frequency on the oscillator. And then it comes off of the uh, collector of the transistor to the negative on the coil of the Emotep radiant oscillator drive coil. And the plus side of the battery goes right into the coil on the Emotep oscillator. And uh, like I say, this is the Emotep radiant oscillator light with uh, no relay. It's being run by this oscillator. This is a breadboarded um, situation here. I've got a bifiler coil uh, exactly like I use in my lid motor SSG Bedini's. Um, this is the transistor and this was the addition I did was this 5k pot instead of a 2k resistor and then the uh, 25 ohm rheostat that had been using a very input voltage to the system and I can get it to do two different lights and it does charge, that's a charge battery right there and there's the dried battery uh, there's the ammeter um, that shows the amp draw on it. I'll turn it on now. The lights, I'm turning, turning this on and off here. Okay, that's running two lights. Uh, she's running just under an amp on the draw. Uh, there's drive battery voltage and there's the charging battery voltage. And these are interrelated. The more you pull out of this, of course, the more you're going to put into that. And then you got to balance it out with how much light you want to use, too. But you'll notice this isn't making any noise. There's no relay noise, and you cannot hear this frequency the way this is set up. So what I did was I had my little handy-dandy AM radio tuned to a null station, and if you turn this up, you can hear it. That's, that's the sound of the oscillator that's coming through the radio right here. And you can vary the frequency with this 5K potentiometer. And watch the light. Now that has to be tuned on an oscilloscope, I would imagine. You can also vary it with the rheostat input voltage here. this does work, turn this off. One nice thing is you can turn it off so you don't have to listen to it. The relay was rather annoying. Even in the box you could hear it. This is totally silent and you have your lights. Now I can turn one of the lights off. It gets a little brighter. You see that goes up a little brighter with the one light. These are running in parallel. These aren't put in series or anything. These are running in parallel. And I'm drawing about half an amp with pretty good brightness. Now if I go down on this, um, let me go back up here. I go down on it with the rheostat. You can dim it down to probably less than half, half an amp, probably 300 milliamps, and still have light. Probably in the dark of the night this would be enough to read by even, because it's still pretty light outside. Anyway, that's the Emotep Radiant Oscillator running on uh, John Bedini's self-oscillating circuit. It's a one transistor with these modifications. A 25 ohm rheostat where the on-off switch was and a 5K pot right there where the 2K resistor was. And it's running the Emotep Radiant Oscillator light.